So it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Sun's out. The birds are playing in the little bird houses I have up in the trees. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's 8 a.m. It's 40, uh, I don't know, 43 degrees out. The sun's out. Had a little bit of rain last few days, which is kind of nice. Makes everybody happy. Now you think I'd be working on the sawmill, right? Right under that blue tarp is the sawmill. You think that would be what I was working on this morning. But, oh no, no, no. Not this weekend. This is why the sawmill will never get done. I'm going to start building the body for this this weekend. I'll show you how that goes. I will make a video of that. I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, these are windows left over from a window job. I made a greenhouse for my garden, my vegetable garden. That's got to go. I was hoping that I would get a lot more productivity per square foot of gardening. But uh, first of all, this shit's ugly. I'm sorry. It's just ugly and I'm tired of walking back here and looking at it and there's not a significant increase in vegetable output. If anything, it's more difficult to get to stuff. And I think these boxes, this whole box is just too small to really balance out the temperature. Uh, we don't live in that harsh of an environment where I'm at that uh, can justify having this ugly ass thing in my backyard. So these are gone. And I'm not throwing them away. Take it easy, everybody relax. Yeah, they are aluminum windows, but I've got a neighbor that wants them. He wants to do some something in his backyard, a windbreak or something. I don't know. He's going to pull the sashes out and do something with them. So I'm going to pull them apart today and give them to him. I got to work on this pile of crap this weekend. Got some firewood left over from some work I'm doing, a kitchen remodel I'm working on right now. These are some unpainted uh, two by threes that were used as structure in the old house. I'll burn anything as long as it's not painted, pressure treated, or plywood. Everything else is fair game. I've got two motorcycles under there, uh, projects. I don't think I did any video of those, but those are for sale. One of them's already sold. A guy came and gave me a deposit on one of them. He's picking it up later today, Saturday. And then the other motorcycle is, uh, it's got a lot of activity on it on Craigslist. So I hope to get rid of that this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's a little early. It's eight o'clock and my throat's still a little. Anyhow, so those bikes have to go. I don't think I've done any videos on those bikes, and uh, I'm not going to uncover them, and don't ask what they are because they're gone. It's shit I picked up off of Craigslist for, for very little money, and I hope to uh, uh, do pretty well profit-wise. Actually, I will do pretty well profit-wise if I sell them, so they got to go. Found these free on Craigslist. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 of these pier posts. Found them on Craigslist free. Freebie. Freebie, I gotta do something with those this weekend. Oh look, it's 44 degrees now. It's getting warmer. Got these pile of pavers off of Craigslist. Freebie. Freebie. Yep. What am I gonna do with all these pavers, you ask? Well, that'll I don't think that'll be this weekend's project, but it could be. If I sell these motorcycles, it's gonna be this weekend's project. This is my woodshed. And uh Although it's got a roof on there, sometimes this dirt gets a little wet when it rains and soggy. So these pavers are going to make a nice little pad here that I can park that little Gilson tractor. See, there's the Gilson tractor right there. And then there's two street bikes in here. Oh yeah, a friend of mine gave me this Craftsman lawnmower for free. Yeah, I got to see if it runs. He says it will run. He gave me a parts engine because the recoil on this engine isn't working. So he gave me an entire parts engine. Yeah, that's another project. I'll do a video of that, maybe. We'll see. I have to figure out what I'm doing with this 4Runner. It's a, 99, a 91 Toyota 4Runner, pre-runner. Uh, yeah, that was a project that's just not going to happen. That's got to go. Look, I have 12 more windows on my truck. Yeah, and in a moment of weakness, and I couldn't say no, <laughs> my big buddy T-Dog came across a bunch of free lumber and I had to bring them home. I had to bring them home. That was all one load on top of my little truck. Yeah, that was a dumb load because it was really heavy. You can see these boards are longer than the Toyota is by about three feet. Anyway, that's going to be a backyard construction project as soon as I take that greenhouse down. 
Oh yeah, and we can't forget the 26 or 28 windows <clears throat> that are already in my trailer right now. All ready for the dump run on Monday morning. Oh yeah, I've got some highway guardrail there. Pick that up, freebie. That was going to a scrap yard. Uh, it's a little bent, but that's another, that's a ranch project. Yeah, yeah and I picked up this uh, outdoor fireplace, freebie. I got this thing when um, when I picked up that artificial log set that I, when I did my update video and painted it for the theater, uh, I'm keeping the fireplace for myself. That's going to be my new backyard fireplace. I got rid of that old freestanding Franklin stove, uh, gave that to a friend, and this guy is going to take its place. It's going to sit here somewhere in the middle of this patio so we can enjoy the heat when we're out here having a cold drink. Uh, and then I need to figure out where to build a staircase. This retaining wall has been in place for... I think I did this in 97 or 1998 and I'd always just walk up along the side of the bricks and it works perfect uh, but always in the back of my mind I really would have liked a nice staircase or something leading up there that's uh, more user friendly for other people that are not uh, ninjas like me to walk up that side so I've had garden material in here before I've grown lettuce in here and these potters I may like take the center one out and use all that redwood in my driveway that I showed you and build a staircase up here uh, with some decking and maybe a series because there's more wood where that one where that load came from I'm gonna go there next week and grab some more wood of those big timbers so I'm thinking I'm thinking staircase up here to get there so anybody can climb up on the mountain easily up on the hill and then uh, some kind of decks or something along here or retaining tiered retaining wall system I don't know I don't know I'm tempted to move a lot of this garden stuff up on the hill out of my way so I have more room in the backyard to just be a backyard but this is kind of in the ground I don't know we got to see so that's why uh, that's that's I've got a hundred things going on and that's uh, sawmill will get done patience got a little orange tree here that I brought back from dead got this free off of Craigslist it was just like a stick and one crumpled leaf and I threw it in this pot I shut up a couple months ago and uh, so my neighbor has goats, the guy I gave the fireplace to, he has goats, so I use goat poopies, and uh, these trees like the goat poopies. I got a lemon tree up, where is it, up here is a lemon tree, and then I have an apple tree, and an apple tree, and they all get, uh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, they all get the goat poop treatment, shut up, yeah, it's good, hold on a sec, and I have a couple fun what I think is fun welding projects, uh, stainless steel welding projects. I just picked up a new foot control pedal for my TIG welder. I've been using that thumb screw on that Miller 150 STL and um, I've done my dues. It's been about a year and a half or something, maybe two years since I've had that TIG welder and I've used a thumb screw and um, it sucks. I, I mean, it has its applications, but um, I paid my dues. I paid my dues. Everybody, uh, including my welding guru Troy, initially my welding guru Troy said, "Dude, get a foot pedal." And I thought, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay my dues. I don't want to come easy into this uh, into this new welding discipline." But <clears throat> thumb screws tough. When I'm welding stuff here on the bench, uh, I should be able to have a foot pedal. So I did get a foot pedal, and I'll do an unboxing video of that coming up. But uh, I've got it. It's here. I just haven't taken it out. But I have a stainless steel project here. And I have another stainless steel project for the tractor, the Gilson tractor. I want to do a all stainless steel exhaust pipe, uh, muffler and exhaust pipe system. Um, yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm going to use these feet. Um, it's going to be a big fat pipe coming out of the top. <laughs> I want to see how, how cool I could make that single cylinder 16 horse brig sound. But it's going to be an all stainless steel muffler and piping and everything. Uh, polish it up make it look pretty cool I think that'll be fun and then this is another um, thing which I'll get into that's going to be a separate uh, project yeah so all this stuff to do and just not enough time to do it in <sighs> the sawmill will get done thank you for your patience really really I'll uh, give you some updates through the day if anything too exciting comes uh, comes about of it I got mountain bikes to fix for a neighbor. I got a bike here. I need to do some welding on the neck. It cracked. Another TIG welding project. Yeah, I need to get my bean trellis out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's just never ending. It's never ending. Never ending.
So I had to pull the windows off the truck and put them over here. Do you think that's overloaded? Do you think I'm going to get messed with if I take that on the highway? <laughs> uh, maybe I won't go on the freeway. Maybe I'll just take uh, surface roads to get to the transfer, transfer station. Well, I had to clear out the truck because I hauled those windows down to uh, down to the guy that's going to use them. Dropped them off there at his house. I'm sifting through the dirt here, getting ready to plant my early bird stuff. Uh, taking out all the root root stuff, mixing in the goat poop. Uh, the guy I gave the windows to has a couple of goats. I think I've showed you this before. These poopies. So the goat poop uh, makes the orange tree happy. Makes all the other trees happy. So I've been slowly telling it into the garden here for the last several months. And uh, yeah, oh, and let me show you another reason too, which makes today a good day. But first, let's take a look. I got the most confused strawberry plants. I cut them back really heavy this year, really heavy. And uh, I think they're gonna be real happy. But I digress. Let me show you why I'm really happy. I don't know, can you see the little tip of the motorcycle carrier sticking there? I'm on the way back, just on the way back from selling the other bike. Yay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Had a good Craigslist day today. The two people that said they were gonna show up and bring cash showed up and brought cash. Well, I actually don't bring them here. Uh, that was another reason why I needed my truck empty. I don't bring people to my house when I sell stuff on Craigslist. There's that half a Kazuma. Um, I meet them at uh, the local department of motor vehicles because they're closed on the weekend and they have a big parking lot. They can test drive stuff, do whatever, and they ain't coming to my house. But, but uh, it does free up a buttload of space. Oh man, I am excited and happy. I'm happy I can get in here. And uh, I don't want to say this out loud yet. And maybe I won't say it completely yet. But uh, this tractor has a very good chance of getting taken all apart and painted this spring. That's my short-term goal. Um, yeah, that and the sawmill are kind of my two must-get-done before, before this year gets halfway through kind of thing. So yeah, and, and that all starts with making space. And this little half Kazuma is probably gonna get sold, broken down and sold for parts. My intention was to build a some sort of bar stool racer or something off this thing, but something cooler than that. And I still may do that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Uh, but it's it's got, the, this is the one with the broken frame. I do have a good rear end, which I could probably sell on eBay. Uh, well, I know I could sell on eBay. The brakes are good, sprockets are fair. Uh, the engine runs supposedly it's loose. I put electricity to it push the button and, and it rolls But uh, I don't have any other plastic. All I have is this busted piece of plastic, but that doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll see We'll see but getting this space back is huge. Uh, that's just That's just that's been bugging me for weeks and uh, I knew I'd never get to those motorcycles and I had bought them to flip them and I probably could have got more money for them had I put a little more time into them, but uh, you know what? Sometimes you just got to make space and this whole area has got to get cleaned up because it's looking a little ghetto. Uh, just a little ghetto, you know? All right, so we were able to get up to 54 degrees today. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't think it's going to get any warmer. Uh, the sun just went to the back side of the hill there, so it's only going to get cooler from here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. 